Hello friends, I'm Chi. Greetings to you all, whatever you may be listening. After watching this video, a lot of men will start getting worried. <laughs> Especially those abroad, they'll start thinking, should I really marry from Nigeria? <laughs> the kind of things going on now, especially now that the poverty rate is alarming. Now, I'll play you guys the video. Ron's girls. <laughs> Even having it from <laughs> Bum Bum. <laughs> I'm telling you, you see this Abuja story. It's a reality. Eh? And a lot of people will be thinking that their husband is innocent. No, my husband cannot cheat on me. Go to Abuja. Everywhere is happening, especially politicians, those big men. <laughs> They have bench a lot of people's sisters, even people's wives. Because when they bring out that large sum of money, men, ladies, most of them, the bad ones among them, can hardly resist that temptation. Hmm? Now everybody wants to belong. <laughs> Where the bling blings. Okay, no problem. But tomorrow, they'll start running from church to church, praying for God to give them miracle husband, a broad husband. These are the kind of people that when you marry them, Omo, they could come abroad and somebody will roger them and start showing them money. Before you know it, they just divorce you and move to the next man. Or they'll be in your house doing the Olo show job. But you will never know. It has happened to a lot of people abroad. They brought in some girls who are like these kind of runs girls back home. They never investigated well. They were carried away by beauty, the sweet tiny voice, <laughs> the sexy body. They never brought, knew that knew that they are bringing in a destroyer. They did not investigate well. There's nothing wrong marrying a Nigerian girl, but you have to investigate very well. You know, monitor her, you know, monitor her ways. Investigate in any way you can and understand whether you should really marry her. Is, does she really love you for you? Is she into wrongs? Is she just after money? Okay, now I'll play the video right away. Um, let's listen to her. But not after they'll start running from church to church. Oh. Carry me they go, Jehovah carry me they go, my husband house, carry me they go, Jehovah carry me they go, my husband house. They have lived dirty lives. Mm? Most of them, when they now marry, they will not be able to give birth again. Because most of these alahajis, those big men, that normally bench them from behind. Most of them are ritualist, occultic in nature. They could have used them from there, front and back, taking their womb spiritually. Destroy them, destiny wise, no more future. They have sucked off everything, they have, they have been used. When you now marry such, bad luck, bad luck left and right. So it's a reality because those men have evil spirits in them, they have cast it into these girls. But the more you tell them, they will not listen. When anything do them, they not buy in a hotel or anywhere. People will say, oh, ritualists. But with their, pay, with their listing, when with these kind of girls, you know, there are many in Nigeria, when would they ever listen? When will they ever listen? Hmm. It's not all about the money. Sometimes, as they are giving you that money, they have exchanged something with you. Spiritually, spiritual exchange has gone on. Some of them will not even buy. Some of them may just run mad. Some of them will fall sick and then later buy. Some of them will become useless in life. They cannot even be, they can't be productive anymore. anymore. Even when they marry, they crash marriages because nothing in them. <laughs> Nothing, nothing. They are empty. Some of them barren unless God delivers them. All right, I'll play the video. Okay, she revealed a lot. Okay, um, credit to at one cash underscore money. P. Yes, credit to at one cash underscore money. P. Let's go on TikTok. All right, let's go. You think life is hard? Try going to Abuja to go do hookup. You know the person could tell you, nobody would tell you. This girl that I met, I met her at the airport, you know, changed contacts, we've been talking to each other. Anytime she come my area now, she'll come and tell me say she's there around. One of these days now, the girl invited me, Babu Jada. She has a lot of events and say guys go many for the events. Now this period now, they say they cash out though. You know me now, I know they use here, here, say money day for this place. Now so I pack my bag, wrong, I can go collect my own money. Yeah. On getting there, I was staying in her house. Next day, we prepared the first event that we went to, we will come and see me. This much children did you normally now guys we are approaching us you can't tell me say see say anybody that approached me now say me cannot even listen to the person what's the ending of the um of the events somebody will come and select girls like wow say whether that's all that they do for this place now like any guy or any man that meets me now now either 
the driver, assistant, or you know, they no be organized. Surprisingly, after the event, just <laughs> yeah, ba. A lot of girls were there. A lot of girls. Those could be people's wife, oh, people's sisters, people's fiance, you know, people's daughter. Hmm. Oh, wow, Nigeria. Like she said, one big babe just come up to us, told us, she told some other girls, she took us to another building entirely, but still in the same area they are doing the event. We got into the building. Guy, come and see girls. Come and see babes. I saw so many of these actresses, so many influencers, as in top top influencers, so mm. top top actress. I can't tap my friend, because I say babe. So you get this kind of connection, says, and you know, free your babe up. Oh, send a word for you. Let me see, make I calm down. But that place where we get so, mm, after some time, another girl, I'll be another babe. She'll just come, carry one girl, go give one man, carry one girl, go give one man. So men even carry like two, two girls for day. Don't mm. wish my turn, I said they carry me, come go give one man. You know me, I'm not used to this kind of setting. <laughs> you know what I They bench her, according to her. The man wanted it from a place that she's not comfortable with. That is her backside. Bomb bomb. <laughs> the bomb bomb. Eh? They wanted to nyash her from there. That is it. Money speaking. They want it from there. They pay for it. And the girl surrender. Tomorrow you marry such. <laughs> when I chat my girl up and say, how far babe? See, they know they talk price, they will just carry us, they give this man. See, nobody don't tell me how much way they go pay us for here. But then say, make I calm down, say, make I no open mouth, ask that man anything price. Say, if not for the money, say money day. Sometime, yes. the man called this PA, and PA, nice. I was like that, they should drive me to the... Yeah. At the end, like I said, the man wanted it from a bomb bomb. Mm. So a lot of girls, men have torn they are bomb bomb like penetrated it in a way that's reckless penetration because most of them have never tried it from there <laughs> and it will just happen like that so tomorrow now some of them will be having the hiv contacting different kind of diseases because those big men they have hiv that's how they will do it skin to skin with these girls eh? skin to skin then maybe those girls now have boyfriends they will now still go back to their boyfriend and still do it skin to skin with that one. You see how the thing will keep transferring? Hmm? Where are you? Where are you? I'm in my uncle's house, in my auntie's house in Abuja. Which uncle's house? Uncle! Uncle! Those kind of uncle, right? Alahajis, big men. Inside their guest house, hotel rooms. Hmm? That's why most of them now, they have hotels everywhere. B&B &B everywhere. They don't say, go and go to that hotel number, stay room number 20. Ah! Man, some people have married Ron's girl, so they don't know even till today that they married Ron's girl. Some did it when they were in university, when they were in their in university, some in secondary school, SS2, SS3, some in university, some when they went for NYSC, that was when they started their own runs. Some people married all these kind of people. Those girls will be like, Ah, I pray my husband will never find out, and even if he finds out, I'll say it was in the past. Ah, man. Man, this would look. Don't think it, this is the era of social media. She's coming out to say her own truth. Oh. But imagine those days when there was no internet, no social media like this. A lot of things equally happened. A lot of things equally happened back days in those days, you know, 70s, 80s. And those people have married now, they have children, they are people's mother now. Tomorrow, now, this equally, these girls now will still marry and become people's mother. Then they will now be. Pretending holy holy when they see other girls doing the same. All these girls said, eh, All these are shower girls. All these girls are sleeping with people's husband. Now they are sleeping with people's husband, though. Tomorrow now they will marry. Their husband will be sleeping on another girl. They will start getting angry. This is karma, too. Because you guys are sleeping with people's husband. They are giving you money. You will still marry. Your husband will be sleeping with other girls and be giving them money. Then why will you be angry? You did it to somebody's husband, too, when you were young. Living your Ron's girl life. It's a shower, but they have baptized it. Ron's girl. Other names. Sharp girls. Whichever one. Escort. Or oh, it's under a shower. A shower and a shower. So long as money will exchange. But who patronize them? Is the men. So that means the men are the bigger a showers. The chief a showers are the men. Chief, chief. Commander in chief of the a showers is the men. Because without them paying that money. Girls will not be doing things with them. 
so they use money to lure girls to tempt them knowing that the country is hard girls will need it because their boyfriends cannot really provide all for them so you blame the men you blame the men give the men 80 percent of the blame then you give the ladies 20 percent because it is always the men that initiate it they talk to ladies get me girls get me girls you know i will pay any amount one mil 500k i'll pay you heard her say even actresses are there all these actresses is this kind of fronts that give them money forget this thing they are showing you a movie how much do they pay them in movie they make the chunk of their money from following chairman everywhere in africa anyone that call them they bargain price they go there and do it then tomorrow they'll be flaunting big houses big rides telling you it's their hard work yes it's the hard work of the bekus and the bomb bomb that that that's the hard work they're telling you but you guys will not know even men were carrying two two like she was explaining two two three song <laughs> um, our people see style and future wives to be for some people abroad hmm kai man people now start doubting the kind of wives they married did my wife really do this kind of thing that's why people now are going for virgins so hey hey people will now prefer to marry virgins um, if not be virgin i know they marry they want to be sure of who they are getting married to they don't want to end up uh, no, feeling that feeling like who knows how many people are bunch this girl yes because when people marry girls that are not virgin they have that mentality of um, she's not a virgin or see the hole don't expand um, are you sure it's not up to 10 men that have entered here both married men and single men that is the mentality most men have when they marry girls that are not virgin because definitely they know that somebody have gone in there and some girls will try to make it easier by saying i dated only two people before i met you i dated only three before i met you i never used to do it with them much sometimes once in a year they want to make it easier <laughs> because that place cannot turn to virgin anymore so they have to reduce the number of men and the number of times they did it that's what they will tell their man so that he will not feel that bad because if the man should have known the real truth how they rugged the bakers when they were in university and rugged the bomb bomb you know those northern chairmen they like that bomb bomb thing where where those guys that do bomb bomb they are homo yes they are homo now eh? they are homo since you guys know they they'll go use girls change the oil there Cha, you know how the girl will be feeling the pain though they used to use all your shower mm, but i hear see that place sweet oh god no be lie no be lie that place it tight and it's sweet man but well you can do it with your wife oh uh -huh, no problem it's your wife if she likes it that's all it's part of the adventure when you're married explore everything explorable so guys are going for virgins and guys even now are choosing to even get married to girls from other african countries uganda kenya ghana name it cameroon because they feel that those girls have not are not too much exposed they are somehow clean cleaner than our nigerian girls that is the mentality of many guys now abroad hmm? that's their mentality now they are scared of nigerian girls so that's it that's it these things happen it's a reality it happens we know yes married men most of them that have money they hardly stick to their wife they are like what is it of the money if we cannot enjoy as many women as we can to the extent that now they even toast married girls yeah they don't care so long as they feel they have the money they don't care they go for married girls too mm, they go for married girls that's why if you marry hold your woman tight provide for her care for her give her attention call her always communication should be number one let your communication between you and your wife to be very strong else when you start losing communication others will help you and do it and those were those ones helping you if you are equally not giving her enough money that can solve her needs especially when she's not even working if you're not giving her enough money care attention love then others will help you because after all you have created the cracks so if she's a if she's, if she's a very weak person eh? or maybe have lived those kind of life when she was young in the university days secondary school days then she'll be tempted to go back and play the game she knows better how to play because you have failed as a man so please man step up to your game because a lot of predators predators scavengers they are out there seeking for people to devour their bum bum and their bakers eh? so that's it Shah. girls be wise because these things could be spiritual but you may not know some of you that you have been used 
and you may buy after six months or one year you fall sick you no treatment can even cure it because it's a spiritual thing tomorrow they say something is moving in their body tomorrow they say spiritual husband they'll start going for deliverance upon deliverance those ones will be using them to enjoy change joy sucking their money be wise oh be wise so let us not hear that some of you are buying hotel room are buy inside your house are buy here and there that's why the buy buy is becoming too much mm? okay now so thank you for exposing these things because when they say it, people will say it's a lie at least you have exposed it she's a very beautiful girl oh. very beautiful girl at that and many of them that used to do this kind of things they are very beautiful very beautiful girls though they are using their beauty to them use what you have to get what you want right is that how they say uh -huh, what you need use what you have to get what you want or need whatever so mm, poverty is the root of all these things because if this girl was working making large sum of money she might not be living this kind of lives many of them in nigeria if there was job real job many of them will not do this believe me they won't it's the condition of the country but girls are they have heart they have heart men that they don't even know they don't even know whether they are occultic they don't girls hardly believe these things that these kind of people could be occultic they will tell you which kind of occultic <laughs> you know they don't even know whether they have diseases in them that can even that cannot be treated they don't care all they want give me the money chop me raw if you want bum bum i give you if you want bakus i give you my breast is ready some of them even suck the men drink the spam somebody's wife to be tomorrow so girls hmm? be careful of the life you are living now it may haunt you in the future all right i am chi chao please like share